Hello guys, John here. As you can see, I've got my Commodore Plus 4 and my 1551 disk drive all set up on the on the TV. And if you remember, if you remember back when I did the unboxing video of this, the everything seemed to work except for the disk drive and the disk drive just would not load anything or even acknowledge there was a disk in there um, it did know it was there because every time we tried to uh, do a directory the light would come on but then it would flash and then the error message would be um, file not found well I've decided to tackle it and see if I can figure out what's wrong with it and so here we go so I've done a done a bit of cheating I've already got tank taken the cover off already so let me, let me just do that there we go put that down so here we are six plus four and the disk drive and I have fixed the problem and what the problem was was it looks like this it looks like the um, the disk drive had been dropped on its bomb yeah and so the head was rammed all the way up there and what happened was it that little spindle there that little notch had made its way underneath that plate and so the drive was spinning and spinning and spinning but nothing was happening with that so I had to just slightly loosen that screw off pulled the head down and then tightened it back up and tried it just just thought I'd try it so here we go so I'm going to press directory look the head's moving and we've got stuff on the screen so I thought hey oh wicked okay right here we go so I'm gonna load in a program and I think it's the fifth one down it's called performance test so here we go it's very difficult typing one hand with the camera in the other so it's loading it and look loading it right it's done it so we'll run it now it's telling me to uh, put a blank disk in so here we go gonna put a blank blank disk in and then I'm gonna hit enter and off it goes so that's formatting the disk right now and it's really quick at formatting the disk now it's writing a pretty hefty data file oh this is uh, this is the boring bit so let's just move to track Anyway, it's closed, so it's now going to read that file back in. There you go, it's moved the track. And now it's closed it, now it's scratching it, and now it's going to do the end to end test. Here we go, track 35, track 1. And now I'm just going to tell you to do a directory. Bingo. So, what was wrong with this was, no, nope, it wasn't a, 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 a technical break, it was the fact that the 
for some reason that little notch just there you see it just there got wedged under that which is the buffer which is the butt and I um, don't know how it did it but it meant that the head was always wedged under there always it, it would not move even so I mean when I did that I had to pull the head down a little bit to free it up but after that it worked perfectly so just so I could give you an update there you go there's a Commodore plus four with a 1541 disk drive and a tape deck and all the cartridges that comes with it all working now so I've got a complete system and these fellas apparently are really rare from what people have told me the 1551 uh, disk drive so I'm glad I've got it working now and so this is now going to be put into my collection and it will stay there and I'll bring it out like I've done now to have a play with it because I've just uh, got just got bought a user manual for it and the three-in-one software manual for it so I'm gonna learn all that and then we'll um, I'll do a video on how the plus four works with its integral software so with that I will say thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video take care bye I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel without you guys I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now thank you very much